So guys, can you run Adidas full boot without its laces? Let's find out. So guys, can you run Adidas football boot without its laces? This is the A72 Plus Pure Control. It already has no laces, but we are going to take the laces out of the A72.1 Primet, the X16 Plus Pure Chaos, the X16.1, the Messi 16 Plus Pure Agility, the Messi 16.1, and the Glory 15.1 with no laces. Let's see how we go. So guys, there's six Adidas football boots we'll test. The first one will be the A17.1 Primate. It's a control boot. Originally it did have laces. We've taken the laces out. The X16 Plus Pure Chaos is another great boot. It actually does have laces. We've taken the laces out on this boot from the Pure Cut lace cover. The X16.1 worn by Suarez. The Messi 16 Plus Pure Agility. We've taken the laces out under the Pure Cut cover there as well as the on the X16 Plus Pure Chaos. The Messi 16.1 actually worn by Messi himself. Laces out and the traditional Gloro 15.1, similar to the Copper Mundial or Gloro 16.1 or Copper Gloro. Let's see how we go. So guys, compared to the Ace 17 Plus Pure Control, I've got the primates on, taking the laces out. Are they the same or are they different? Let's find out. So when kicking with the A17.1 Primate, it felt pretty much exactly the same as the feeling you get in the A17 Plus Pure Control. Taking the laces out, really, it doesn't really make a difference with the laces and the touch of the feel when you're striking the ball. So the main differences between the A17 Plus Pure Control and the A17.1 Primate is the fact that the Primate actually has laces. We've taken them out. Are they the same boot? No, they're not. Inside the Pure Control itself, there's an internal wrap helping for responsiveness and lockdown. The A17.1 Primate has no internal wrap, so you need the laces to do the lockdown for you. So this boot without laces is not very responsive at all. This one is the more responsive of the two. So in a direct comparison between a laceless Primate and a laced Primate, the differences are massive. So responsiveness is really, really bad in the laces design. We've got no internal wrap, we've got no laces to lock down the midfoot into the shoe. And on the lace primer, it's perfect. We've got laces to lock down both sides of the boot. It's really, really perfect in terms of responsiveness. But a laces primer is really, really bad in terms of responsiveness. Touch-wise, it's pretty much the same as the A70 Plus Pure Control. So guys, now there is one difference. I've got the X16.1 on my left foot and the A17.1 primer on my right foot. Let's see where we go. Now they, appear, now they feel pretty much exactly the same. In terms of responsiveness and lockdown when I'm striking the ball, on my left foot is the X16.1 with no laces. It's actually really, really bad. I had a lot of rollover on both sides, striking with my right foot. Pretty much the same deal with the A17.1 Primate. Really, really difficult in terms of lockdown and responsiveness. So guys, one similarity between the A17 and the X16 is the shape of the football boot. If we can just go down here, Matty. So just having a look here, they're pretty much the same width. The A17.1 Primate is a wide fitting football boot, as well as the X16.1. But I've taken the laces out, and you can see that seam that just runs up there. It's pretty much the same tip fit sort of prime cut collar or sprint skin collar you see on both football boots. Very, very similar when you take the laces out. So guys, I've just tested the responsiveness of both the X16.1 and the X16 Plus Pure Chaos. With no lasers, the X16.1 is really, really, really bad. But the X16 Plus Pure Chaos has a much more compressive tight fit. It's really, really responsive with lasers and without lasers. So guys, in terms of how the X16.1 feels and fits, and I'm taking a penalty and the X16 Plus Pure Chaos, again, they're very, very similar. The X16 Plus Pure Chaos and the X16.1 without its laces is pretty much exactly the same with laces in terms of touch and feel. It's a much more traditional fit when it comes to football boots. It's got external laces. Same with the X16 Plus Pure Chaos. It has external laces, but with a pure cut lace cover on top. Both have the same touch and feel with no laces and with laces. In terms of responsiveness, as you can see, I've got really, really wide feet. The Pure Chaos 
is the more responsive boot of the two with no laces. Okay guys, so now on to the Messi 16.1, putting this boot on, taking the laces out, and of course I can feel already that it does need laces. If I quickly bring it over to the Existing Plus Pure Chaos, yes it does have laces underneath the upper, taking them out there. Overall, as you can see here, laces are required on the Messi 16.1, you've got a massive flap there. With the Existing Plus Pure Chaos, with laces or without, it's fine. So guys, I'm just lacing up the Messi 16.1, and obviously with laces, it is a good football boot. Without its laces, it doesn't really work. Messi, of course, wears the Messi 16.1 over the Pure Agility, and of course, he does wear them with laces. Definitely wear the laces with the Messi 16.1. So obviously, when striking the ball, I didn't feel much difference with or without laces. But of course, responsiveness is the major problem with having no laces in the Messi 16.1. So now I've got the Messi 16.1 and the Messi 16 Plus Pure Agility on my feet, taking the laces out on the Messi 16 Plus Pure Agility, left the laces in on the Messi 16.1 because we think laces in the Messi 16.1 is the better option of the two. So just a little run there. The Messi 16 Plus Pure Agility without its laces feels very similar to this boot. The E16 Plus Pure Chaos, I don't know if you've seen the two boots close up but they're very very similar in terms of upper structure uppers are slightly different with agility knit and that synthetic up on the pure chaos but overall fit and feel with or without laces is very similar on the pure chaos and the pure agility so holding these two boots in hand quickly the s16 plus pure chaos and the messy system plus pure agility are very very similar when you take the laces out very responsive the touch is pretty much the same with or without laces so very similar two boots from adidas football but laces on the left no laces on the right, as you can see. Just bring it up, it's got a fold over tongue. Yeah, we've got problems. No laces, you can't really lock down the boot at all. You definitely need laces in the glow, but we'll see how we go with a bit of shooting. <laughs> with the glorious, we've got a really, really big problem. With laces, it's perfect, it's the most, the most comfortable boot of the lot, but in terms of no laces on the Gloro, you just can't kick a football boot when the tongue just falls right through. It's horrible. So guys, can you wear an Adidas football boot without its laces? I think you can. So what is my conclusion? Laces or no laces on Adidas' football boots? Well, it's different on different boots. On the Pure Control, there's no laces already, it's fine. On the X16 Plus Pure Chaos, it's really, really responsive, it's fine. And on the Messi 16 Plus Pure Agility, that Tech Fit Wrap, it's fine with or without laces. But these four boots here are horrible without laces. So the A17.1 Prime Knit, take the laces out, there's no internal wrap, it's not very responsive at all. The touch is the same as what's on the Pure Control. But overall, responsiveness is really bad in the A17.1 Primate. Definitely wear this boot with laces. Now the X16.1 is really, really bad without laces. Pretty much the same football boot without laces. That seam running down the middle, pretty much the same sprint frame sole plate. Overall, pretty much the same. You definitely need laces on the X16.1 and the A17.1 Primate. Now on to the Messi 16.1. Of course you need laces, look at this. This is horrible. You need laces on the Messi 16.1. And this is a bit of a joke really, we pretty much knew that it would be really bad without laces on the Gloro or anything like the Copper on a traditional leather football boot, you definitely need laces. So that is my Adidas laceless football test. In terms of comparing laces football boots to Nike football boots, I'd have to go with Nike, but that's all down to personal preference. Something like the Pure Cow, so if you have wide feet, it's going to be really, really good without laces. But something like the Gloro, the Prime Knit or the S16.1 is horrible without laces. So is laces football boots cop or drop? Both.